Okay, so I know this isn't much, but since I have been biking on my Peloton, I have lost almost a pound. So, go me. Now I got 30 more to go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're on candid camera. No. No. You get so excited just going through the drive through. My first time about to have some In N Out Burger. Settle down. No. No. Bobo. Bobo. Settle down. You're okay. Just so excited. Alrighty. And a shake. Here goes. In the world, and I can guarantee you no one will say that a favorite thing to eat is chicken breast. So that got me thinking, how can I make a chicken breast taste like a steak? Well, it was not easy, but let me show you how it was done. As yeah. you can see, I have six regular chicken breasts. There's nothing fancy the out there, they are pork. just plain old good right. chicken breast. Now, the first thing I need to do is to remove all of the moisture. And in order to do that, I'm going to be using something that is called a freeze dryer. The science behind it is fascinating. And if you want to learn more how it works, check it out in the description down below later on. Because I and let it do its thing for two days. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. This is a regular chicken breast without any moisture. All of the liquid is completely gone. Just holding this thing on my hand is absolutely insane. Right now it feels and weights the same as a styrofoam. It basically looks like it's a prop from a movie. Let me show you what it looks like inside. So I want to have grab my Tastes knife like a and, regular burger. A and take a closer look. Notice that the process did not eliminate all of it, but that's okay, it's not 